<laughs> she snaps into action. A small puppy, huh? A small puppy. Oh, she's very good. She's starting already. It's kind of adorable already. Those are either eyes or... I am not sure. It's cute, though. It's kind of adorable. It looks like a balloon puppy. No, this is very good. Please, a round of applause. For Diana's... Lovely. It's lovely. Puppy that was subject to a horrible, horrible accident. We're going to take your puppy card and put it way down in the deck. I mean, way, way down deep so we know it's nowhere near the top. I mean, look, it's, is it any, anywhere near the top? Now, I have to ask you a question. Do you know how to snap your fingers, Diana? I think so. You can practice. <laughs> Here's what you have to do. I need you to snap twice. Snap twice and go, hear me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you need to practice that. Come here. <laughs> she whistled, too. Oh, right. She went a little... Do you think the puppy heard you? Let's take a look. Oh, the puppy oh my God. heard her. <laughs> Always responds to the master's voice. Oh, the puppy. You don't suppose it could, it could happen a second time. Well, let's get it in there. Let's sure. Is it anywhere near the top? Not even near the top. You know what to do. Come here. I love that. But did it did it hear her? Oh look, it came to the top again. Once more. Here's the master's voice. Now I want to preclude any sleight of hand. Diana, lift off about half the cards. Put them back. You know what to do. Come here. Here, boy. Turn it over. <laughs> no way. Away! It always hears the master's voice. Now, I detect we still. Oh, I, I did it great. You were great, Diana, but I have a feeling there's still a couple of naysayers. In this audience. A couple of what? Naysayers. <laughs> Some of you refuse to believe this is, in fact, the work of a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, I have conclusive proof. Ladies and gentlemen, conclusive proof. David, this time you snap and you say, Come here. Come on. Actually, it's. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> I don't have a puppy. It's all right, it's all right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> The conclusive proof. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a puppy. Isn't that proof enough for you? Of course, it's in the middle. Where is it? The jack of something? The queen, the queen of diamonds? Oh, there, of course, it's in the middle. It's her puppy. Do you get the principle? He doesn't get it. Do you know how it works? It only comes to me. How does it work? Here we go. Snap, snapping. Come here. Oh, oh, oh. 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 <laughs> Turn it over. It always falls. The master's boy. I don't know if I can do this uh, for you, but I, I, I'm going to try something. Uh, Robin, I'm going to stand up, and again, if you forgive me, I'm going to turn my back to you, if you don't mind. God bless you. Reach over and take any card. If you got one, grab one. But don't take the four of diamonds. Any card but the... No, no. No, 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 I didn't want you to take the four of diamonds. I, I'll tell you what, it's the only card in the deck that keeps, bar for, I'll show you what I mean. Tell me, say stop any way you like. Stop right, right there in the center, put, put your card there. That four of diamonds, no matter where you put it, it's an ambitious card. It always comes to the top. No, no, matter, no matter where you put it, if I put that four of diamonds into the center like that, if I just snap my fingers, it comes back to the top. As, as a matter of fact, if you put it second from the top, see it going in? Doesn't matter. Wherever you put it, it always comes back to the top. As a matter of fact, I'll, leave, I'll show you how it's done. If I leave it, this is so good, I have to see it myself. If I leave that four of diamonds sticking out, Protruding from the deck from about center. That's about center right there. As long as it's in the center, it can't possibly be on top. It's the two of clubs on top. But when I push in that four of diamonds and snap my fingers, that's when it jumps to the top. You see, as a matter of fact, look, would you pick up the four? Make sure it's the four. Turn it face up. Make, I know you don't trust me. Is it the four? Look, hold it face up. And as I do this, drop it in face up. Would you look? There it is face up and about the center of the deck. What I want to do is take any other card near the top. Let's say the... 
ten of spades. Four of diamonds is face up in the middle. Ten of spades is face up on top. Look, but as soon as I cover that ten of spades and snap my fingers, it instantly changes to the four of diamonds. Well, you know, if I put that four of diamonds back on top, tell me honestly, Robin, do you really believe that the four of diamonds is on top? It is. I, I don't want to kill you with decisions. Look, let me put it into, about, about the center of the deck. Look, well, a few more cards should make it about center. I told you before, as long as the four of diamonds in the center can't be on top, it's the nine of spades on top. But if I take that nine of spades and push in that four of diamonds, what happens is the nine of spades changes to the four of diamonds. You know what it is, no matter how you shuffle this deck, no matter how you cut this deck, what happens is it becomes an illusion because what happens is that every card in the deck starts to look like a four of diamonds. <laughs> See? Now, I don't know, have, Robin, have you counted the four of diamonds in this deck? Have you? You may think they're all, take a look, how many do you see now? Do you see any four of diamonds there at all? You know why? There never was a four of diamonds in the deck, Robin. I always keep the four of diamonds out of a deck. I never do use it in the deck, so that's all right. That's, thank you.